Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 247. That is, do we release the software during beta phase? Let me answer. So beta phase is one of the phases of the software. There are several phases of the software that it goes through while getting developed or while or during releasing into the market. OK, so what are the several phases of the software? The phases are the first phase is pre alpha phase. OK, after pre alpha phase of the software, then software will go through the alpha phase followed by the beta phase, then release candidate RC phase and finally stable general availability phase. Beta phase is the third phase of the software. OK, is the third phase of the software in which the software will be released into the market directly to the end users or customers. OK, the first time the software will be released into the market. So what is the question here? Do we release the software during beta phase? The answer is yes, guys. OK, in the pre alpha phase or alpha phase, the software is not released into the market. OK, coming to the pre alpha phase here, development will start guys. OK, testing will not start at all in pre alpha phase. The testing of the software doesn't start at all. Only development will has started in the pre alpha phase using some requirement documents and so after the development is completed then the formal testing will be started in the alpha phase okay the developers will start unit testing integration testing testers will start system testing and uh, the user acceptance testing will be partially done in the alpha phase okay it's not completely done only one portion of the user acceptance testing that is alpha testing will be done in the alpha phase that is a uh, client side business people will do the uh, user acceptance testing uh, to see whether the software is meeting the needs and expectations of the user or not. OK, so that's what is alpha phase. But one of the testing is still pending. OK, that is beta testing is pending, which is not done in the alpha phase. Hence, the software is not released during this phase also. Since one of the testing is still pending. OK, in alpha phase also the software is not released. In pre alpha phase software is not released. In alpha phase the software is not released. But in beta phase, the beta testing will start. That is, the software will be released to the end users or customers with an intention of they test the software and provide the feedback back. OK, so the company want to release the software to the end users, real users or end users of the software. OK, so that the end users will start using the software with an intention of testing purpose. They will be doing the beta testing indirectly while using the software and they provide the feedback and the company purpose is to collect the feedback. OK, what is the feedback? Whether the users are accepting this particular software or not, whether this software is meeting the needs and expectations of the user or not. Do we have to do any other changes so that the user will be happy with the software? OK, so that the needs and expectations of the users will be 100% met. OK, such kind of things will be done in the beta testing. OK, here the software is released into the market guys. OK, if someone asks you whether the software will be released into the market in beta phase of the software, the answer is yes, but the intention is different guys. OK, it's not to uh, it's not an actual release into the market. OK, so even though the software is getting released into the market, it is getting released only for testing purpose, but not for but not for usage purpose. OK, it, this is not the final release. OK, the company is not going to sell the software uh, and uh, make the users use the software. That is not the state here. OK, it is releasing the software into the market only for the testing purpose and collecting the feedback from the user. And uh, as I already mentioned in beta testing, the company may decide to go with the open beta release or closed beta release. OK, release will happen in the form of either open beta release or closed beta release. OK. If it is open beta release means this software will be released to the entire public that is complete public. It will be released and the feedback will be collected from the entire public. But if the company decides not to go with open beta and want to go with closed beta, then in that case, this particular software will be released into the market to not the entire public, not to not the entire public, rather only to the limited uh, number of end users or customers or limited group or closed group of end users or uh, real customers. Uh, the software will be released, but not for everyone. Okay. But ultimate goal of releasing the software here is for testing purpose, not for usage purpose. So hope guys you got the answer for do we release the software during beta phase? Yes, but for testing purpose and collecting the feedback.
So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.